right, so I am super excited, you guys, because tomorrow at 7 p.m., Get That See University is going to be doing a live Zoom session right here on my channel. Um, I'm gonna stream it for you all. And what you're gonna get from that is a meet the team, right? So you're gonna get to meet all the consultants from Get That See University while at the same time being able to ask them all of the questions that you possibly can with regards to CASPA and what they do as PAs currently. You'll also be there for the announcement of the two winners of the giveaway. So if you are interested in entering the giveaway, what I need you to do is leave a comment in the comment section below about why you want to be a PA. This is for my pre-PA students that are applying to PA school this cycle. We will be giving two lucky winners um, the prize, this winning prize, uh, and what we will be offering you is the opportunity to pay for two of your schools. So your initial school application and cast and then your second school that you're applying to. So I know when I was a PA student, pre-PA student, excuse me, this would have been amazing. So if you're interested in that, leave your comments in the comment section below. All right, let's get into this video. Okay, what's up you guys? Good welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, please go ahead, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. It helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot. And I really appreciate you guys commenting and subscribing because I like engaging with you guys. So go ahead and do that for me right now. Um, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the frustrations of applying to PA school because it's not always like easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my daughter likes to say. Um, you know, some of us really have to kind of take the scenic route and do this long road to applying to PA school and more specifically when it comes to retaking classes. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Um, I had a comment that was sent to me by Irene McGimsey. She said, I'm so frustrated taking these prerequisites. I feel I'm being played trying to take a required science class and they're making you take unnecessary classes in order to get to the actual classes you need. It's all about the money. Now, I mean, I know that sometimes it can seem that way, that it's all about the money. I mean, even uh, we have people that are talking about like all these PA schools that are popping up, it's all about the money. But when it comes to the sciences, you really have to be like compounded, right? So they build on themselves. So you can't take anatomy and physiology if you haven't taken general biology. How are you gonna learn about the anatomy and physiology of us as human beings if you don't know the basic science of how we're created from cells? And so that's an aspect of the whole like taking classes that you don't necessarily need, I guess you can say, to get to the class that you're really trying to take. But when it comes to PA school, a lot of the classes that you are in your prerequisite requirement you actually have to take, you actually have to take like the lower classes to get to them. So again, like one of the prerequisite requirements for PA school is general biology and general chemistry. Another one is organic chemistry and anatomy and physiology. You're not able to take organic chemistry until you take chemistry. Uh, that's the fundamentals. And it's the same with anatomy and physiology and biology. So although this may seem like it is all about the money and they just want you to take unnecessary classes, classes, um, that's not always the case, right? And so maybe if we had a little bit more context on some of the classes that you're taking, we might be able to help you kind of navigate it a little bit better. So leave that in the comment section below as well, Irene, some of the courses that they're saying you have to take before you can take another class, because we might be able to help you find some loopholes. But for the most part, these classes build on each other. And again, I know that this whole process of applying to PA school can absolutely be frustrating. I mean, you guys look at me, like I applied to PA school multiple times before I got in and it was a little just dis like discouraging. You know, you see your friends doing various different things like going to med school, going to PT school, OT school, all these other professions, um, SLP school. And you're there because you have a desire to do something specific and you feel called to do that. Um, but yet at the same time, you're like, uh, I don't like what's happening. Why am I not getting in? And so I've had to come to the realization that, you know what? I can't be so focused on the destination, which was PA school at the time, and not be grateful for the present, right? Because there were so many good things that were happening in my life, even with, you know, some bad things as well. But I was becoming a mom for the first time. I was getting married. Like there were so many like beautiful moments in my life at the time that I really needed to 
be present and be happy about the present because, um, you know, that's where the Lord wanted to me, wanted me to be at that moment in time. And so for you all, if you can take anything away from this, if you've ever like subscribed to my channel, you know that I am all about like, oh, my Lord and my sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> um, and you know, I, I'm like a full believer in that. But at the same time, I think that what you all need to like really understand and you should take away from this, this kind of uplifting message, I guess you can say, is don't be too focused on the destination and not appreciate the present where God has called you to be at this moment in time. Because he sees infinity steps ahead. Um, and although you may not necessarily know exactly what uh, what he has in store for you, um, know that it's for your good, okay? So that is what I want to share with you guys. Again, continue to leave me your comments in the comment section below. Please, please, please make sure that you comment on why you want to be a PA if you are interested in being a part of the CASPA scholarship giveaway because we're going to be allowing or awarding two lucky pre-PA students this scholarship where we'll be paying for two of your school applications. Um, and that way, that's one less thing you have to worry about with respect to applying to PA school. Uh, and the only way to enter and to win is by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Please go ahead and check me out on Instagram at Anon the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University because tomorrow at 7 p.m. we will be announcing the winners and it is an event that is put on by Get That C University, so you will be able to meet all of the consultants, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.